So, I have a confession to make. I shaved my face. Okay. So, you know how, y'all know how I've been on this whole, like, skincare kick. Okay. I was watching YouTube, well, like I usually do, and I came across this video of this girl shaving her face. Now I had seen Aaliyah J shave her face before and I didn't think nothing of it. But this girl did it and she was like, yeah, because the hair follicles get on your face. And when you're trying to apply product, the product just sits on the hair. So shaving your face is called something else in the facial community, like the, listen, I'm not an esthetician. I'm not a statistician at all, but there are people who do this at home. So I did it and like, I just feel like I like shaved off a layer of skin and now all the products that I put on my face, I can tell that it's like getting in the crevices of everything and I love it. I was gonna film it. I had prepared myself to film it, but I didn't know what I was doing. So, I, and I didn't want to F it up and it'd be on camera. So I was just like, you know, I'm not, I'm not a guru. Like, I just wanted to try this, but I will be doing this forever. Like, she said, cause I watched, I watched two videos. I watched the one girl, I'm gonna put both of their videos down here. I forgot the one girl's name. She was very informative. It was very easy, easy and simple to do. But Aaliyah J's video, she was more in depth and she had a lot of other products that I didn't have. So I'm gonna put both those videos down below and if you're interested in doing that, but honey, honey, what? It's starting to go back a little bit. I did this last week, but every two weeks, I'm just, get her done. I don't think we realize as women, at least, I think guys are used to shaving, but with women, it's like, especially hairy women like me, we don't realize how much that hair stops our skin from flourishing. At least on our face anyway. So, it's a little bit of a pro tip. I'm gonna keep doing it. <laughs> so. I'm at my place of employment and I'm early. But seriously, it's raining. This weather makes me want to sleep. It also makes me a little sad because me and the little girly can't go outside today. But it's fine. We'll find stuff to do on the inside. But yeah. Why am I so loud? Why are you so fucking loud? But yeah, days like this, I just want to be home, cuddled up, in my bed, catching up on one of my millions and bazillions of shows that I have not finished, and just relaxing, but it's fine. 
tomorrow's Friday. And I have nothing planned, so I don't know why I just said that, but tomorrow is Friday. So I've been thinking about Vlogmas. So if you don't know, on YouTube, Vlogmas is when you vlog every day for the month of December until Christmas. And you know, I asked for a millisecond, I thought about it, but I don't think that's a good idea. I'm still a newbie, so it's like, I don't think I should put that type of pressure on myself yet, not this year. I just started this channel back in June, so it's like, I don't wanna overdo it and burn out before I even get started. So I don't think that's happening, but can you imagine seeing me every day on your timeline for a month? I would get tired of me. I, I'm, I, I would get tired of hearing my voice as I was editing all 25 of those videos every day. I think I would probably quit YouTube. So I'm not gonna do that. In case you are wondering, you don't care, but whatever. Okay, this is me asking for help. I don't ask for help often. So when I do, it's rare. But I may or may not have some like unfinished beats in my phone and I really need help. I need help learning how to use GarageBand. <laughs> learning how to use GarageBand. <laughs> I need help because I really feel like I could do beat making as a hobby too. I really like doing it. I have like five songs on my phone. Wow, I never told that to anybody. This is like my diary dead ass. Like I I I feel like out of the many things that I want to do as a career, that's one of them. Even if it's just a hobby. So I really need to reach out to some of my producer friends. I know a few people that produce music and I guess I should ask them. But also it's like YouTube is really a school. Like you could look up anything on YouTube. So I'm gonna continue doing that, but I, I wanna work beside somebody and do it and learn. Let me know. One thing about working this job is that I'm gonna lose weight, okay? I don't be no like little snacks up in here, you know what I'm saying? Which is fine. It's fucking fine. Because it's it's disciplining me. Like, look, it's just water and sandwiches and granola I bring to work. That's it. You know? So if I lose weight within the next look, if by January I'm a few sizes lower. Just know I'm okay. I'm not going through anything. Well, who knows by that time. Fuck. But, I, you know, I'm not knowingly going through anything. If that makes sense. Because I can't, I don't know the future like that. Well, I kind of do. But no, not really. But, um, but that's fine because I'm going to lose weight and I'm going to lose this chubby neck. My neck, this is really getting deep. Y'all really getting to know me. My neck, my neck fat has been something that I've been subconscious about my whole life, <laughs> my whole life. I even went and got a sonogram done on it. I thought it was a mass. I thought it was thyroid shit. And the doctor was like, no, it's just fat. <laughs> she said, no, some people just carry, some people just carry fat in different places. This is just bad, there's nothing there. I looked on the sonogram, there's nothing there. There's no mask, no anything. So maybe I'll finally lose this, you know? But, yeah, that's my life. I feel like I don't go out as much now. So when I do go out, I kind of got to show off. Gotta make a statement.